Hello again, welcome to my channel. I'm Jacques, Mr. Pink Ink, and for those of you who are coming back, hello. And for those of you who are new, thank you for choosing my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing by hitting that red note, uh, subscribe button down below and then hit that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you whenever I upload a new video. Today's video, we're going to focus on my January TBR. For those of you who don't know, I'm constantly, constantly um, participating in readathons because it helps me to focus. And, and you know, for someone who does reviews, um, yeah, I need to focus so that I can get on there. So I intend to join the New Year's Athon. Um, I will link all the links down in the description box below. So New Year's Athon is a readathon, obviously, to start off the year right. It's the third year running this year and it's hosted by, sorry, A Court of Books and Love. Um, on YouTube as well as her friend Donna. The links are all on there. I'm gonna link um, hers down below the announcement video. It runs from January the 1st to January the 17th. It's normally one week. They've extended it, extended it to two weeks this year. Um, so yeah, I've made my list according to the bingo challenges, which I'll find and I'll put up in here. Um, yeah, so there are six main prompts and then the other nine, the other three are fillers, I think, um, which is cute. Also, my Goodreads group, um, Devouring Your TBR, has a monthly challenge. So January's challenge is um, January Jam Jar. So all the books that you didn't get to read on your previous TBRs, you put that into a jam jar and you pick them. I don't have a jar or that kind of a jar, so I have made myself a pile. Um, last year sometime already and then all the books that I didn't get to read in in any month goes onto that pile and then when I pull for a TBR for the next month I make that pile my priority so most of my books are out of that pile ha 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 which is good because I need to read them and then yeah so my choices are based on those and the prompts um, I'm also on tour on the 6th of January, which is now, now, and then <laughs> um, also um, joining the book club read, which is super exciting. Okay, so for New Year's Athon, um, the six most, or oh, the six prompts um, are covered here. Um, so there's definitely six books that I'm going to be reading. I don't know if I'm going to read them in two weeks. But I'm going to read them in January, so. <laughs> um, the first prompt is the most anticipated read of the new year. So this means anything that's published up until the 1st of January um, this year. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm going to read it on my e-reader. I got that as a gift from my very good friend, The Hound of Bookstagrams on Instagram. And I'm super excited for that. I'm not familiar with the stories, um, if you don't know. I don't like reading blurbs. I don't, you know, when I go read a book. I know that this is a very hyped book. It's V.E. Schwab. I've read um, the Savage Song duet duology. Oh, and I loved it. I can't read Dark Shadow Magic yet because I don't have the other two. I'm, I'm really dying to read this one. Um, basically, from what I can tell, it's in, nine, in 1714, Adelaru makes a deal, a Faustian deal, meaning she sells a soul to the devil for eternal life, and then stuff happens 300 years later. Yeah, so I don't know what it is, it's via Schwab, I'm super excited to read that one. Um, if you read it, come, let me know down in the comments below if you think it is as hyped as it is. It should be as hyped as it is. Um, if you've read it, tell me what you thought about it. If you haven't read it, tell me if you're excited to read it. But yeah, that's on my TBR for January. <clears throat> I 
And then the next book is going to be on my Kindle. I'm on tour for this with Indie Blog Up on the 6th of January. Um, it's called Queen of Empire by H.R. Moore. Um, I know absolutely nothing about Queen of Empire by H.R. Moore. Um, according to Goodreads, uh, which is currently 3.87. Um, it's part one of a trilogy and it's a fantasy romance. Um, it says here, a, a fantasy romance trilogy perfect for fans of Crescent City. I haven't read Crescent City. Cres anyway, they live in Empire um, and there's some things called a body challenge. Uh, yeah, she has a special ability. She can see the energy of other people um, and she's always won every competition that she's ever been in um, and then stuff happens. I don't know. Um, yeah, you see, it's the romance aspect that always throws me awful things. But anyway, I'm on tour for that. So that is going to be made a priority. I'm going to be reading that book first. I am currently reading Verify by Joelle Charbonneau. Um, this was my last read for December. Didn't have time to finish it. I can't read the book one day, but that's fine. I can put this aside and I can read that you know, Empire and then go back to that one. Um, but I have to read Verify because that's my book, last book for December before I read any other book other than Queen of Empire. And then the next prompt is read a book that was published in January. Um, it doesn't have to be January 2021. It can be any January. Um, so luckily for me, I have High Fire by Eon Koffer. Cool. Eon Koffer, Eon, I don't know. Um... Yes, courtesy of Jonathan Walls. So I'm happy to read that. This is a fantasy. It's Ian Copper's first adult fantasy, I think. It's about The Last Dragon. Yeah, a new adult fantasy from the internationally best selling author of Artemis Fowl. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't want to read the blurbs. I don't want to. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, cool. And then prompt number four is a book released in 2020. Yeah, this is a book that I actually did have on my TBR in 2020. The first chapter hit me really hard, so I put that aside. Um, also courtesy of Jonathan Ball. Publishers, I'm going to read again, or uh, go back into And the Stars of Brighty Burning by Danielle Jawando. Um, Owl was special, Owl was talented. When 15-year-old Nathan discovers that his older brother Owl, Owl, sorry, has taken his own life, his whole world is turned apart. Owl had so many dreams, so why did he do it? So, you see, I, 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 emotional stuff like this always gets me, and I don't deal with death really well. I don't. Um, so the first chapter to me, you see, there's my bookmark. I'm actually, yeah. Uh, the start of chapter 2, page 18. So that will be my read for a book released in 2020. Cool. And prompt number 5 is read a book with gold or silver on the cover. It literally has to be the colour. Um, no, that's that's copper. Mm, I'll try that. That's fine. So that's cool. What I did choose was another book that I tried to read last year. Um, it was for the August Readathon. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it was for. The prompt was for, but I didn't get to read it because I didn't run out. But I was sort of because I ran out of time. Um, it's the last Namsara by Kirsten Cicerelli. Cicerelli. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably the last person on the planet to read this book. Um, I am more weapon than girl. Aisha is a dragon slayer, reviled by the very people she sworn to protect. She kills to atone for the wicked deed she committed as a child, one that almost destroyed her city and left her with a terrible scar. Yeah, okay, I can't wait to read that. That's fine. So it's fantasy is done my alley. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then we're going to go on to... From number six, read a book you didn't get to in 2020. Uh, practically any one of those. Any one of those. Um, that's not in my TV pile, but I mean, I didn't read that last year. I wanted to. Um, but I really want to read I'll Keep It The Sun by Jandy Nelson. 
Yes, I know it's romance. I do. But, you know, I'm getting into romance apparently. Some romances are, are good. Some are not. So far, some of them that I've read are, are were good. And I like those. So I need to read more. Okay? I do. So I'll give you the sun. But Jodie Nelson is the next one on my list. I got this, this shadow. Oh, you stevie. Yeah. It's terrible. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, it's on the list. That is that one. Um, I don't know. Jude and the twin Noah are close until a tragedy drives them apart. Now they are barely speaking and both falling for boys they can't have. Love's complicated. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. So, so far so good. Yeah, and then there are three more prompts on that bingo board. Um, namely, read in the morning or night with no distractions. Um, that's easy. Um, also read at least two books, so I can push for that, that's not a problem. And then the last one is, um, make a bookish resolution. I don't really make resolutions in general, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, so that's my January TBR. I also want to get into reading or try to get into, or try to get time to read um, Chronicles of a Spellcaster by J.J. Singleton. Um, it was sent to me by Book, Pub 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 Book Publicity Services, Kelsey Butts, um, and they are going to be sending me a paperback copy. But I don't know how long it's going to take, and also be back into lockdown, so I don't know how the borders are affected and it's probably going to take months but in the meantime they've sent me um a digital copy um they also said that there's no time frame for me to review this but i've already had it you know about a month and a half now so i don't need to read it but i do want to read it so if i don't get a chance to read it in jan i'm going to push it to fit so, yeah, there makes seven books on my Jan TBR. There are also so many other books that I really, really, really want to read. And if I can squeeze them in, I'm going to squeeze them in. I am. So, yeah. I also would love to know what you are reading um, in January. So, do let me know in the comments down below. Visit me on any of my social media platforms and come and chat to me. Um, if you've read and read... <laughs> If you've read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it. If you have any reviews up, you can put the links down. I forgot some time ago and check them out. That'll be awesome. Also, everything that's new on the blog is down in the description box below. Please do go check those out. Um, everybody needs to be seen. Cool. Yeah, so these are the four physical books that I'm going to be reading. Um, and there are two digitals, Adilaru and Queen of Empire, and then maybe, maybe Chronicles. I'm also, of course, still reading Verify, so that's five books, mm, cool, and yeah. Um, so, yeah, other than that, it's been very quiet, um, self-isolating, I'm staying at home. I'm also in lockdown, level three again, in South Africa. Um, there's no reason for me to go anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I don't like going to places anyway. I don't like, it's not like, and I don't like going to places. It's that, um, I'm untrustful of other people. So I'm always, you know, paranoid about something. I'm always worrying. Da, 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 da. I can't, I can't relax when I'm out and about. Especially when I'm by myself because I'm always afraid I'm going to get robbed or there's going to be an accident or something's going to happen or anything can happen at any given time. My brain won't leave me alone. So yeah, so I'm not going anywhere. We had very quiet New Year. Um, my brother has to work, so they went to bed early. I wanted to do this video last night, but then people were partying. But anyway, it's very quiet. Um, so yeah, so the 
2020 is gone. 2021 is here. Nothing I can say. Um, nothing I want to say about it. I'm not. I'm not making resolutions. Other than that bookish one, maybe I should do that. But I don't know what it is. I read 80 books in 2020, 81. Uh, very far was 82. It's actually, there are others that I didn't load on there yet. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna keep my challenge at 80 books. For 80 books for 2021. If I read more, I read more. If I read less, I read less. But I think 80 is a good goal. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Um, stay safe. Wear your masks. And Happy New Year! <laughs>